Here's what we understand from the Orange County Office of Emergency Management. They're expecting at least another two feet of water on the north side of the bridge and at least a foot and a half on the south side of the bridge. What they've been doing most of the morning is diverting traffic. If you're in Orange, they're diverting traffic to Highway 62. If you're in Beaumont, they've been diverting traffic to Highway 69. But we've been talking with people all morning who've been traveling along this route on I-10, one of the busiest uh, travel routes in the country. And what they've been saying is, this one gentleman for sure, traveling in that direction, he knows that he could be part of that diversion and what to expect. Whew. So this is almost a nightmare because we're going to have to go probably, it's probably going to end up being eight hours out of the way. And we're trying to get over there and pick up our Jeep and get back because we're supposed to head to Utah uh, on Thursday. So we're doing a lot of traveling today just so that we can do a lot of traveling in a couple of more days. The Orange County Office of Emergency Management is desperately pleading for you to be sure that you pay attention to the dynamic digital boards along the highway to make sure that you have alternate routes. If you have not already planned an alternate route, they will provide an alternate route for you. In Baytown, Nate Griffin, Fox 26 News.